Welcome back to the morning show on this Monday. It's a great day to learn about agriculture in central Illinois. And what better way to do so than with our Ag in the Classroom segment. With me now, Sarah Caper from the Champaign County Farm Bureau Foundation. Sarah, you're the coordinator for the Ag in the Classroom program here in the county. I am. One of several across the state. Yes. And yes. of course, we always like to link, if you're not from Champaign County, there's a coordinator in your county. We'll have that on our website, talk more about that. Yes. Last week, George Washington. This week, Milk. Milk. And the reason we have milk this week is because January 11th is a big day. Yes. It is National Milk Day, and it is the day that marks um, when the first glass bottles of milk were delivered. Oh, really? Yeah, interesting. Yeah, yeah, very interesting. So I like to do a little something with dairy in January. Now, question, you've got milk. So. Is there any chocolate milk? Uh, there is chocolate milk, but... There's, that gets a different date. Fortunately, it? it's not from a chocolate cow. Okay, okay. okay. that's we true. We have to answer right that question that. for for kids and anybody who else might be interested. We won't ask about strawberry milk. <laughs> you won't ask about that. No, that's no. good. That's good. So this lesson is called Magic Milk, and um, when I teach this, I want to tell kids about how magical milk is. So one of the things that's magical about milk is that cows eat grass, and their body turns that grass grains into milk. So I think that's pretty magical. It's pretty fascinating. Something you wouldn't expect. Um, milk is also magical because they've been providing humans with nutrients through their milk for thousands of years. Wow. So we're not the first ones to be no. using uh, milk for products. And there's a lot of different you know, varieties of cows, I guess you could say, a lot Absolutely. of different you know, species. Yeah. Absolutely. They make the best milk. And the last one that I always tell kids is milk is magical because thousands of products are made from milk. Yeah. And you just have to go to the grocery store and see all of the things that... It's cheese, it's good. yogurt, it's mm -hmm. ice cream, mm -hmm. you know, it's yep. the, the whipped cream in the can. Yep. I mean, there's so much. Cream cheese, everything you can think of. So today, we're going to do a little milk magic now that we know those facts. Um, and by the way, this is, this is a great activity to do at home because you have everything. Oh, so yeah. this is a little container of milk. Okay. And I use whole milk because whole milk contains more fat than most um, most milks. But part of the, the ex experiment can be done with any type of milk, and you can see what kind of reaction you get. Okay, milk is very much like water. It has the surface tension of water. And so when I drop these little drops of food coloring in the middle, they're going to sit on top of the milk just as they would on water. Now, milk, we said, has fat in it, but it also has molecules of proteins and fat in there. Now, why, here's the reason why we put the food coloring on, because we want to be able to visibly see the reaction that we're going to get by using dish soap and milk and getting that reaction. Now think about washing dishes when you put soap in the dishwasher. Oh wash, yeah, it cleans stuff it, off. It cleans stuff off. It forces those fat molecules to spread. So watch this little chemical reaction. When you dip that Q-tip in milk, go straight down in the middle. Okay. And watch the there. reaction. Yeah, he's gonna get nice and close to that camera. Mm -hmm. I don't want to drip into it. Here we go, you ready? This is the magic right here. This is here. the magic. Mm -hmm. Whoa, Look that's cool. That not that cool? That is so cool. I love uh -huh. that. And you can pick that Q-tip up and move it anywhere. And what's happening is the molecules from that soap are fighting with the fat molecules and pushing that food coloring around so you can actually see all of that reaction. Oh, happening. come on. The kids at home are going to love this. They are. They really are. And when you think about dairy, um, you need to know that dairy farmers provide a billion pounds of butter every year. Wow. Mm -hmm. Seven billion pounds of cheese. Wow. I think about two of those go to my family. Yeah. And one, couple, billion, couple of my <laughs> one billion gallons of ice cream. That's awesome. Yep. This is a great lesson. Uh, it's so fun and easy. Again, yep. you said we have everything at home the you milk, do. the food coloring, yep. the Q tips, the mm -hmm. dish soap. And if you don't have milk, milk, cow milk you could try it with anything yeah that's true mm -hmm. that's true so okay perfect well this has been a great lesson a lot of fun of course if you want to learn more about this head on over to our website wci.com slash ag in the class we'll connect you with your local county coordinator there as well get more lessons like this right on our website